For the first time this year, URI has a change in its starting lineup. Sophie Phillips is in. Dolly Karens is out. Wake Forest are the same five that we've been accustomed to. Olivia Samiel has it at the top of the key. Wake Forest looking to head into the Christmas break on a positive note. Phillips coming into the game. That's another perimeter shooter. She's the number four three-point maker in the conference in the A-10, having made 21. So keep your eye on Sophie Phillips, number one. Phillips in. Karen's out. Haddix, Covington, Lassiter, Squires, and Torre. Three transfers in the starting five for URI. Really interesting matchup today. These two teams haven't met over 30 years. Pretty good look inside. Demira Hines lost a sneaker. Five on four the other way. Phillips wide open. Buries it. Yeah, well, they went inside like we thought they needed to do. Wake Forest. They're not able to score. URI has been an excellent finishing team during their winning streak. Really has. Their business in some close games. There's the first bucket of the game. It belongs to Kaya Harrison for the Demon Deeks. Odney Amadou, assistant coach. Work with Tammy Reese at Syracuse. Feel to this URI squad. French connection. Drives inside there. Good help side defense by Samil. Gets the block. Open look. Phillips got another. She's a catch and shoot player. And Wake Forest goes to sleep just a little bit on the inbound situation. She toes the line and buries yet another three. She's now 17 for her last 32 from beyond the arc over the past month. Samiel answers from downtown. DeBras, freshman, averaging about five points per game. Into the post, working on Samiel, and Olivia gets a piece of Dutat's shot. Good job holding ground and just waiting for the shot to be take, taken and then elevating and blocking it. Williams on the drive. Back outside for Spear. Tough pass, taken away. Travel called, and it will come back to Wake Forest. Scruggs has been playing well. She might get some nice matchups inside. Beautiful cut and finish for Elise Williams. And back cut. Kamara kicks it. Phillips. Wake Forest dodged a couple bullets that trip. Harrison on the attack, well defended, and she gets the roll. Merry Christmas, comes early there, rolls all around once or twice. About two and a half minutes beyond the five-minute timeout. And that will get us to the break. Better airfare. True that. Harrison doesn't hit the rim. Shot clock expires as URI retains possession. And a bump called on Jewel. Sumiel, and she does a little bit of everything for this basketball team. Very athletic. And so getting her involved offensively will be a plus, I think, tonight in this game for Rhode Island. First field goal attempt for the Rams' leading scorer, and Torre comes up empty. He said leading the 8 10 in field goal percentage coming into today. Scruggs on the offensive glass, back up and in. Didn't like the call, and uh, the official Tommy Paris basically went and gave Coach a little elbow to show what Scruggs did. His help with the Rhode Island success this year is their ability to get to the free throw line. Those fouls, you may not think much of them right now, but they add up as the ball game goes. Rams over five minutes without a field goal, and Wake has a five-point lead. Final minute of the first. Nice. Almost, almost looks like Tamira Hines is wearing a Santa hat with the way the hair is <laughs> situated. <laughs> well, she delivered that time in the post. The hair, the headband, looks like a Santa hat if you look really quickly at it from the right angle. Samiel rips away the rebound. Game clock, shot clock just about in sync. Spear doesn't seem too concerned about that. Sets up Andrews for three. We were talking about Alyssa Andrews before the ball game in the control room. Somebody that can be a free-flowing player. Great recognition that time. To get her on the wing, knocks down the jump shot. Spear, very unselfish. Andrews with the knockdown shot. The fantastic first quarter, Stan, that you were looking for from Wake Forest. Yeah. 
It's a 10-point lead for the Demon Deacons against a URI team that has won nine in a row. Spear, beautiful left-handed feed to the corner. Andrews. The, the Rams have only lost six of their last 36 quarters in their last nine games before today. And, and two of those, they were outscored by one in quarters. So they've only been outscored by more than one four times in their last 36 quarters. But uh, And you got to give Wake Forest a lot of credit on the defensive end. This is a team in, that, in saying that averaged about 20 points in the first quarter of ball games. Only had seven in this first quarter. And the mid-range jump shot once again. Battle of the players we talked about inside. You can see him banging inside. Hines did a nice job pushing her off the block. Rams two for 14 in the first. Missed their first shot to begin the second. Pretty good look. Off the mark for Conley. Still struggling. She's over last eight. The last five ball games. That was a good look. Maya Torre with her first bucket. Williams to Hines. Nice job there. Delayed the pick and roll. Williams under control in the paint. Makes a nice bounce pass with a post to get it. Hines having a nice solid ball game. Three rattles in for Emma Squires. After today, nothing but ACC games for Wake Forest. Pretty good tune-up game for that. Shot clock winding down again. Haddock's Covington over Nia Becker drains it. Knocks the shot in. Oh, tough catch. Williams gets it back. Samiel leaves it for Becker on the drive. Other people have been challenged and have to score the basketball for Wake Forest to have any success. Long, another long athletic player that can run the floor. They look soft. Too strong. Yeah, Harrison don't need to, have. to Becker. Nice. CL with a left hand. Olivia. Showing the versatility of her game. We've seen her block shots. We've seen her step out and knock down threes. Got low post action right there. Used the left hand. Kissed it off the glass. Corner three. I'm good telling you. For Haddock Covington. They, they, they remind me of each other so much. Similar in their ball games. Can score inside as well as outside. Always around the basketball, Madison Haddix Covington. Samiel fakes it. Up for the travel. Can Wake Forest maintain the defensive intensity here, Stan? They, they're going to have to. There's the three for Reinhardt. And that's why. Because you've got some people that can score quickly for this Rhode Island basketball team. You know, when you really think about it, Rhode Island's had a lot of good 10-foot looks that they've not been able to capitalize on. Williams, great dribble, sets up Harrison. Kai is in the midst of one of the best scoring stretches in her career. Averaging 10.5 points per game in her last four. Orange out rebounded Wake 48-32. They had twice as many offensive rebounds. Pass went through Torres' legs and scooped up by Williams. Harrison to Hines with good position. Faces up, goes to work. And she was fouled on the floor. Redshirt freshman from Nice, France, is into the game. Becker had a lane, fortunate to get it back to Spear. And a late whistle, but an appropriate one. Providence is currently ranked number 146 in the net. Top 200 in the net. Wake Forest, their best win came against Minnesota. The team that Wake Forest has played over the years, and they've had some success. Yeah. And and a team that, that it doesn't look like it, but I think they're going to be pretty good, is, uh, is Coppin. They got a two-point game over Coppin a couple of weeks ago, too. And uh, uh, they'll, they'll be a factor, you know, a low major. But yeah. In, in the act, but they'll, they'll, they'll compete for a championship. Nice finish by Harrison, banking it home. Deacons by eight. That pass deflected, last touch by the Rams. Better teams you play, the more points you're going to have to get from players like that. Now, you're talking about quality wins. Yeah, I let you go on. 
Hines on the nice. drive, lays it in. Deacons back up 10. Whoever wins this game today, it will be their best win of the year, the year to date. Bingo. And that's what's at stake. And, and I will say this, and I've said it on many occasions, this is a game of runs. Ten-point lead at the end of one. Rhode Island got back within four, but the Deeks have scored the last six to get it back to double digits. Dual spear, finally. First points of the afternoon for Jewel, and the Deacons have their largest lead yet. Contact. Game like this. Fouls on Harrison. That free throw snaps a three minute, 36 second scoring drought for Rhode Island. Let's see if Wake works the clock down here. Second difference. See here. Harrison, Hines, Spear, Williams, and Becker. Just jump run to stagger the air. Guards play one on one basketball here. Spear takes it. Makes Bam. it. <laughs> it only takes one for Jewel Spear to get rolling. To beat the buzzer, Lassiter can't bank it in. And Wake Forest with one of its best halves of the season. We talked about this last week in the Longwood game about the the levels of play in this conference, and you're going to have to find a way to fight your way through. Wake Forest not a bad basketball team; they're picked at the bottom, and I think they're going to surprise some people. But yeah, I mean Louisville, Carolina, you know, Virginia Tech had a nice win. You didn't get a chance to see that game against High Point, did you? Did you get over there? Following the score, yeah, but, but you didn't get to see no, it. No, that, that's that, that's what man. I didn't need it just to make you feel better. Pressure on the ball. Jules Spear gets the bounce. It's amazing. Spears got nine. Yeah, it's amazing how a player can go quiet almost the entire half, and then all of a sudden you hit one, and the light comes on, and she hits the drains of three before, and then gets the first possession of the second half, and then she's on the road. There's more bounce in her step defensively as well. Sam, we're talking about the ACC. The A-10 is a pretty good league, too. Yeah. Underrated. As the three goes down, she can step up. A veteran player that you're talking about, about this great conference. What is it? UMass is preseason pick number one. Yeah, well, they're Island three. There are five teams right now in the league that have three or fewer losses. Six teams in the top 110 yeah. in the net from the A10. That includes a seven and five Fordham team. Oh, nice. 90. Beautiful pass. Hines the finish. Is any half they've had all year. No question about it. Straight away three, a little short. Hines tips the rebound for Spear. Spear through the semi yell screen, pops, hits. <laughs> it's like she's got it. It's okay, you know what? I think I'll start scoring there. <laughs> Behind the back, real quickly, gets her feet set. This is just easy basket. So she gives coach company on the bench with like six turnovers and shooting 50%. Coach Jebby has got to come back with Reese down by 17. I feel like you got to leave Corey in there. Spear three. Got it and one. Last five minutes, she's she's just been a, a one woman. Nice high low inside. Finish. Hines gets it back. Looks for help. Finds Scruggs. Scruggs creates space and puts it in. Three for three, nine points here in the third quarter. Lake Forest gets another stop. Rhode Island. Doesn't look like the team that's won nine in a row. I think with we'll Wake Forest, and today they focused. They've locked in and probably, probably, you know, if you look at it off. Best two, and, best two and a half quarters. Yeah. yeah. Very methodical about what you're doing. And when you don't have to have all the... You know, the bells and whistles, they've gone out today and played solid, focused, and locked in. Because you got to do that to break this one open. Here on a Thursday afternoon at the Joel Coliseum. Maya Becker into the game. Deacons in the bonus. Lassiter picks up her third. At least the last couple of ball games when she was at Florida State. She talking last, last, last. Yeah. Not been a big, not a big score anyway. 
but it's not really scoring a lot of points against Got five assists, this five rebounds. Five rebounds in that, what, the game, uh, the today, 20, today she first. got five Yeah, well, I'm not even thinking about the day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about Spear, the tough deep. catch, rams it in. <laughs> Rebound tip controlled by Becker. Spear, get back to the free throw line. Joel Spear, the junior from the Colony, Texas. Double figures for the tenth time this season. Third and the fourth. She, yeah, I think she made a three just before the end of the first quarter. And then second quarter really got up and then it was alrighty. How many could she get? <laughs> There's a basket. And it really made it hard for them to score the ball. And, and, they, and they made Rhode Island become one-on-one -on -one defenders where sometimes they need to be two-on-one defenders. You, know, you got exams, you help you do that. And you do that well, you got to. Try to get the team ready to play. You, you sound exhausted just talking It is. It's exhausting. It's hard to win. Uh, for the pit game or even the January early game against Duke because it's like, okay, fine. You know, Other rankings aren't as friendly to the Blue Devils at the moment. That could change. Summy Yell finds her spot right in the day. You're not able to get her miss back. Sets up Haddock to Covington. No. Kamara back outside. DeBras. DeBras. Nice move. Taking the ball at the post. Here they come. And they're gonna steal. That's a good play. That's good. Turnover is the last two possessions for Wake Forest. That'll be a blocking foul. Stats about how many more assists did you have than turnovers, and they've had six games where they've had more assists. But are the only team in the women's basketball averaging fewer than ten turnovers per game right now? Happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Stan, we're halfway through Hanukkah. Santa will be flying about 55 hours from now. It's what you got and out of Becker, and you get the basket. Now, again, I, you, know, you always talk about it after a timeout, being able to score the basketball. Wake Forest does a good job there. And what I think if I'm Coach Gabby, I'm saying, hey, let's settle in. Let's let's lock in right now. No more mistakes. No more turnovers. Let's go away on a good note because you've got a big game coming in. You're not going to play the game? No. Take your place and they forget about you. Count it. You saw it. And there's the bras knocking down. Like 73 points a ball game. So great defensive effort by the Demon Deacons today. Happy holidays, folks. See you next week. Deacons, Panthers next Thursday, 6 p.m. Rhode Island plays next Wednesday at Princeton. And uh, Wake Forest will finish the non-conference play 9-2. With today being the most impressive win of all, as Wake Forest ends URI's nine-game winning streak with a 59-45 victory.